I've been married now for 49 years, it'll be 50 years this December, and I have three children, two daughters and one son. I decided to be tested for prostate cancer because of my elevated uh, PSA. When the results came back, I was shown to have uh, prostate cancer, and that's how I found out. They said it had been discovered very early, and there was a good possibility that everything would turn out all right with just the radiation treatment. Every week during the treatment, you sit down with them, and you, and you meet with them, and you answer any questions, any concerns they have. You help them with any side effects, and you just listen to, you know, the most important thing is to listen to the patient. Being a patient of Dr. Ingram meant that uh, you would have an opportunity to talk to him about anything that you wanted to. You could talk about the cancer, about this or the other, but he was a very personable kind of person and he was concerned about you know, your well-being. The reason I won't get up every day because it's a challenge, it's very, very rewarding, and the patients are remarkable people. I came to the center uh, every day, uh, excluding the weekends uh, for the radiation treatment. What we did with him was we actually implanted some seeds to help us guide the radiation therapy. Both the seeds and the comb bean CT allow us to make millimeter and submillimeter adjustments to the exact location on the prostate each and every day. And the reason that's important is because it allows us to do the radiation very conformally and miss the majority of the rectum and miss the, the bladder. And that's one reason Mr. Ivory did so well. They told me I had graduated, so that was a wonderful feeling. <laughs> his papal nodule has disappeared. His uh, digital rectal exam is normal now. As I tell Mr. Ivory, he's got the prostate of an 18-year-old. I thought that they might have told me that you need to do something else. Uh, there's another phase that you have to go through, but when I was f told that you no longer have cancer, I was very happy, a happy man. Yes, indeed. My typical day now is just like it was before. Uh, I'm doing everything that I want to do. As a matter of fact, I got a call last night from my namesake, John Ivory III, and he had been to a birthday party, and he also told me that his birthday party would be next month. I'll be four next month. So it was a, I'm glad that I'm going to be around to witness a few of those good things.